Hello and welcome. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us back on ESAFC TV. Welcome down to Medill's Farm where today we see the clash between eastern suburbs and Auckland City. We've got a very exciting match coming up for you in the next couple of minutes and hopefully an entertaining one for the next couple of hours this afternoon. It's a first clash between Auckland City and Eastern Suburbs in the Northern League for 2021 and we're super excited to see how it turns out today. It's always exciting between these two sides. Bit of an Auckland Derby, which, uh, Derby which we love to see. Taking the pitch today for Eastern Suburbs, we've got Ruben Parker, Jaden van der Heiden, Michael Bilt, Jake Moosebelly, Stafford Dowling, Christian Gray, Stephen Hoyle, Joel Clissold and Jake Michelle. Campbell Strong, who is finally back after injury, and Aryan Raj. We see the teams walking onto the pitch now. Taking the pitch today for Auckland City and what is an interesting lineup and a, a pretty solid bench. We've got uh, Connor Tracy, Brian Caltech, Cameron Howson, Angus Kilcolly, Samuel Brotherton, Aidan Carey, Andrew Blake, Ilham Mead, Tade, Arwood and Rogers. Thanks for joining us on ESAFC TV this afternoon. While you're here, you may as well hit the subscribe button down below. Um, because why not? You'll be kept up to date every week. All the live streams we've got going on. Tomorrow we have our women's team uh, back at home. So just hit that subscribe button. There's, there's uh, no strings attached. Um, and we won't be charging you for it. <laughs> we can see captains Cam Howson and Michael built there, shake hands. These two sides have, have played each other a lot um, and always uh, were promised a really good match between the two sides and hopefully we get the same again today. Rather than seeing them in the National League competition, we see them in the Northern League today, which is somewhat National League now with the new format. And Eastern Suburbs will really be trying to get something out of this match today. Um, currently sitting in sixth position on the table, knowing that they need to finish fourth if they want to be making that National League over the summer. Auckland City are uh, sitting at the top, top of the pack, uh, with Auckland United behind them by just one point. So again, they'll be wanting to uh, get a win today themselves. Um, to, to solidify that position at the top. Here we see the sides just changing um, changing ends. Obviously a captain's decision with the toss. We've got Andrew Lamberth as the official today. And there is his whistle now and we're underway. Auckland City to kick off to the right of our screen and Eastern Suburbs on the left. Auckland City go long early but it's not executed and it goes out for an Eastern Suburbs throw. Clissold on the side there looking for someone to throw to. No one really offering. He goes long and it's headed out for another throw. Michelle. Van der Heiden goes long for Hoyle. 
It's great to see Hoyle back at the top of the park today. He's been playing at the other end, centre back for the for most of the the season so far. Hopefully he can get himself a goal or two today. That'd be great. Tracy just holds the ball up, lets his team settle in. Nice ball there into Tade, who has a good run. A nice through ball, but Parker's all over it. Also great to see Campbell strong, back and fit and healthy after being out for a wee while due to injury. Uh, he comes in there, slots in really nicely after we said farewell uh, earlier this week to Adam Thomas, our captain who signed an unreal deal over in Melbourne. Putting some pressure in the box, Auckland City, a nice cross. A great cross of, across the box there, right in front of goal. Unfortunately, there's no one on the end of it for Auckland City. Dangerous start for Eastern Suburbs. Here's a chance now for Eastern Suburbs and a, a long wide, uh, long range shot there for Jake Michelle. Why not? Already an exciting first three minutes or so. Hopefully this is uh, showing a little bit of what's to come in the next couple of hours. Good press there by Bilt. Auckland City get out. Tade, nice ball up the line. To Hamidi. Some time now on the ball for Auckland City. And they're just playing around with it nicely, Auckland City. And they're attacking half. Good intercept there by Dowling, but it's into the feet of Hamidi. Rogers now with a run. And some solid pressure there from Dowling. Auckland City calling for a foul there on Hallison, but nothing's called. Long ball from Howison. Back down that left hand side for Rogers. Howard now goes for a shot slash cross. It's into a free kick for Reuben Parker. Massive crowd down here at Medill's Farm today. Obviously everyone wants to turn up for the big one. The big Auckland derby between Eastern Suburbs and Auckland City. Arwood uh, goes again. Looks to find someone in the box, but it's blocked by Eastern Suburbs. Tade to have a turn. Out to the left-hand side for Alfie Rogers.
football, so it looks like there's a lot of Auckland City supporters here today. We can see the balloons across the other side of the pitch that they always like to bring. Pretty calm day as well down here at Bedells. There's actually not a lot of wind, which is the first uh, in a while. Usually we're guaranteed some strong gusts here, um, but not too bad today. Hopefully things stay that way. Campbell's strong on the ball now, goes out, goes back to the safety of Christian Gray. Eastern Suburbs looking to build up from the back every time. It is an ongoing theme for our club. Um, you see it in both of our men's and women's side and throughout uh, the juniors. Looking to keep the ball as best they can. Bill to Michelle trying to put the centre backs under pressure. They find a break though. I would switch this to Rogers. Rogers has got a lot of space out on this left hand side. And a bit of deflection. Eastern Suburbs are arguing for an offside, but it's a goal for. for Auckland City. It was all very confusing there. And just like that, Auckland City take the lead 1 0. Eastern Suburbs are unfortunate there, but Auckland City have been all over the press. Eastern Suburbs will look to have a go now. Ball out wide to Bilt. Can Bilt make something of this? Dowling underneath him, puts a cross in, but it's on the head of Brotherton. And Auckland City clear the pressure there. Christian Gray put under a bit of pressure there by Kilt Colley, but he manages to send knock a ball out there to Hoyle. Hoyle again on the end of it. He's trying to make something of it. And a good shot there, but it's out for a corner. Stephen Hoyle does well. Look at him go. Good on both ends of the park. <laughs> it's great to see the bald horse, though. Stephen Hoyle, bald horse, at the top of the pitch. <laughs> Built. Hoyle's on the back of it, and he goes down holding his head. Hopefully not a massive head injury there. The referee blows his whistle somewhat immediately as you do with head knocks but he's back up and he's all good Stephen Hoyle a jack of all trades obviously played centre back striker scored a lot of goals for the club in his time here uh, and also is our women's director of football and first team head coach which uh, he's having a successful season so far obviously not um, some great results over on our for our women's team but it is a very tough competition this year with all six teams being extremely competitive and uh, all in the running for uh, for finishing in that top four so Stephen Hoyle is doing great with our women's team and, and uh, as they contest for that that top four spot to make that National League. 
Jake Michelle. Looks like he's carrying a little bit of an injury there, but I think he's hoping to walk it off. Everyone's just a little bit confused. <laughs> and Dowling goes back for his centre back, but he's put under pressure immediately, Christian Gray. He finds an outlet in Moose Belly. side with a run up that right hand side left hand side not really sure left hand side for him built their foul on uh, Rogers Long ball there by Tracy and goal, which is intercepted by Hoyle. Hoyle looks to make something of it, and he goes back to Moose. Eastern Suburbs go all the way back. You can hear Coach uh, Declan Edge, assistant coach, instructing his team to keep the ball moving. Something that this club tries to implement very much. A good press there by Auckland City. And a shot from Arwood, but it goes high. City with a good start to the match. Already 1-0 up in the first uh, 10 minutes today. What's notable uh, for this Auckland City side is their extremely strong bench with the likes of Cameron Brown, Adam Mitchell, Adam Thurston, Dylan Manicum and Reed Drake. Um, I believe they've got some sort of rotation with their players. And a foul there on Campbell Strong. Oh no, sorry. Campbell Strong fouled. Alfie Rogers. Which sucks because that was a pretty good opportunity there for Eastern Suburbs. Ah well, we'll go again. It is gutting to see today the likes of Adam Thurston and Reed Drake uh, sitting on the bench for Auckland City, ex Eastern Suburbs players, but good on them for making the move to Auckland City. Run up that right hand side for Auckland City, and that ball's knocked in, but there's a little too much on it, and Dowling. Clears it for Bilt. Strong loses the ball to Howison. A lot of possession here for Auckland City in uh, this first 15. I think the difference between these two sides uh, when they have the position, Eastern Suburbs are playing a lot in their, uh, their defensive half, their own half, 
moving the ball around there, whereas Auckland City looked to, to bomb on and, and move the ball in their attacking half. So whether each side will be able to maintain this for the rest of the match will be interesting. But uh, both sides, no one for their their um, their own individual kind of tactics and strategies, and and the, the you know there's no right or wrong. So <laughs> good press there from Van der Heiden, but Auckland City managed to find safety. Not for too long though, they're still trying to get out. Rogers claiming a foul there, but Bilt comes away with it. Campbell Strong just looking like he's trying to get back into the game a little bit after having so long off. Good win there by Dowling. Good strength. Michael Bilt and Alfie Rogers having a good battle there on this side of the park. Parker put under some pressure and goes out for a throw. Here come Auckland City, Blake on that right hand side, he goes in for a cross. Long ball there from Brotherton, trying to find Arwood up the top, and uh, deflects on to Arwood, who tries to make a nice cross there across the box. And again, no one's on the end of it. I reckon Auckland City would have had about five if they could get on the end of these brilliant crosses from Arwood. can hear the drum of Auckland City's fans and the, on the other side of Medell's farm. Doesn't travel as loudly as it does uh, when, you, when you face the side at their home pitch. Auckland City's home turf, more of a, a closed off area whereas Medell's farm is, is very much like a farm. There's a few things going on here. Eastern Suburbs holding that press just on halfway. I'm unsure if that's a tactical thing or a saving energy type thing. Looks like just timing, um, making that call when to go and when to hold. Good run there from Arwood. A great defending game from Eastern Suburbs today. They are really kind of trying to hold off uh, Auckland City from those chances. Ruben Parker tries to go long, but it's into the feet 
of carry. Vander Harden tries to find Hoyle out wide. But Blake too quick. And a great shot there. From Kilcolly. That park is all over it. We're just over 22 minutes in here in Medell's Farm. Welcome to the East SAFC TV live stream here on YouTube. Thanks for joining us. My name's Bonnie Jensen, and uh, I'm your commentator for today. Auckland City, uh, if you just kind of joined us, Auckland City scored in, in the first 10 minutes. And what was a debatable offside, I believe. Um, but they have had their fair share of chances, so. Dowling tries to go back, and it's luckily not been intercepted by Tade. Eastern Suburbs looking like they're getting tired with all of this defending. Built now looking for an outlet. Finds Stephen Hoyle. Stephen Hoyle goes long for Built. But there's no real options up the top there. In the form of support. Can Eastern Suburbs keep the ball up there attacking uh, their attacking half? Little miss pass there from Michael Boot. <laughs> Foul there on Jake Moose. His name's, his last name's actually Moose Valley, but everyone calls him Moose, hence why I'm calling him that. We love a good nickname over here at Eastern Suburbs. We've got the Bald Horse and Stephen Hoyle. Got uh, Bilty and Michael Bilt. Joel Lux with Joel Clissold. <laughs>
Chance here for Auckland City. And again, the defence is uh, well done there from Eastern Suburbs. And it's one back by Auckland City and a shot on goal there from Tade. A nice shot in fact, but it's too far to the left. Nice cross in there again for Auckland City. They're all over us at the back there. Like a rash. Eastern Suburbs doing well to hold them out. Let's see how this corner goes. Tade and Howison walking to the corner there. They go long, and a great header there from Caltech. And real header, in fact. Good chance there for Auckland City. Hoyle now, good run. They need to go forward, Eastern Suburbs. They've gone all the way back to Parker. Nice little one two there. Dowling with a good run. Hoyle trying to make something of it, holds the ball up nicely. The ref calls foul on Campbell Strong after he yells at the ref, <laughs> demanding him to call it. Chance here for Eastern Suburbs. Sitting in this commentary box, uh, I always still have the urge to yell out at the players, man on or time. I know that's not really my role up here though. Built, oh, and a great ball in which Strong's on the end of, but his header was in fact a little too strong. <laughs> Looks like there's been a little uh, structural change for Eastern Suburbs. Michael Belt has slot back into fullback on that right hand side and Dowling's uh, Sot places and sod into right wing. <laughs> Foul there on Michael Boot. <laughs> I 
exciting things of football in New Zealand today. We see the Wellington Phoenix back at home after being overseas for so long. And uh, record crowds down at Sky Stadium in Wellington. That's kicking off in about 30 minutes. And of course they'll be up in Auckland for all us Auckland folk next weekend at good old Eden Park. Hopefully we'll see again record crowds because I do know some Wellington fans are pretty gutted not to get both two games down there. Eastern Suburbs with a little bit more position in the last five or so. A few more opportunities for the side. Probably be giving them a bit of a confidence boost and also a rest from all that pressure they were getting from Auckland City. Arian with a run, making some yards for his side. Stephen Hoyle with a runaway. Come on, Stephen Hoyle. Come on. And a foul there. Another free kick for Eastern Suburbs. Can built deliver another another spectacular cross. A good opportunity here for Eastern Suburbs to equalise and keep themselves in this match. They're doing pretty well to keep themselves in it so far. A nice cross in there, but Tracy's on the end of it. Tade knocks a great ball out there to kill Collie. Almost caught out there on the counter attack, but Eastern Suburbs managed to block a shot. Nice ball there, the good. Oh, oh, I couldn't even see what was happening there. But manages to get into the hands of Parker. A real chance here for Auckland City. Auckland City again with these through balls. Corner now for Auckland City.
great hitter there from Raj. Chance here for Suburbs. Dowling just put under too much pressure there by Auckland City. He can't find an outlet. The last time these two sides met was in the ISB as Honda Premiership semi-final for the 2020-2021, gosh that's a mouthful, competition. And what was a nail-biting match. But Eastern Suburbs going down 2-1 from memory to Auckland City. Gets messy in the box here, but Van der Heiden clears it, but not for long. I was just all over it. Can Eastern Suburbs keep it at 1-0 for the last six minutes of this first half? Even better if they equalise. Nice play amongst the team there from Eastern Suburbs. They go out the other side. Arian now makes some yards for his team. Can hear Hoyle demanding it, screaming on that side of the pitch. Arwood now on the ball with a counter for Auckland City. And a good intercept there from Dowling. He's had a solid first half, Dowling. And a good press here from Eastern Suburbs. But Rogers finds an outlet in Howison. And it's a now it's now break for Auckland City. Nice cross in there. Oh, and there's players, but they can't execute it. Again, Eastern Suburbs. <laughs> They've been extremely lucky with these chances today. And I'm not complaining.
Here Auckland City go again in the box. Tade out to Rogers with a nice ball across the pitch and a great shot there from Rogers Parker. Nice save. Auckland City, you know, you got to give it to them. They're a great side, but Eastern Suburbs holding them out. Good on. As I said, hopefully we can just hold this out, the scoreline, and not concede any more in the next three or so minutes. Because, you know, a few tactical t changes and we could be all over them in the second half. <laughs> and it's cleared by Raj. A chance now. You can hear Edwards screaming to go forward. But Eastern Suburbs want to take their time with doing that. Parker tries to find Hoyle. A few nice touches there from Blake. He wins the ball back. Aryan Raj has been all over those headers today in the back. Great clearance ball there from Tracy in, in goal. Auckland City will not want the opposition equalising in the dire minutes of this first half. But Eastern Suburbs have a free kick here. Looks like they're going to set up for it. We're trying to get as many numbers into the box as possible. Built to take. Nice ball in. Oh, and it goes out for a corner. Come on, Eastern Suburbs. Wouldn't you just love to see it? A goal here. How exciting would that be? Auckland City bench probably on the end of their seats, no doubt. Oh, and the corner kick from Bilt doesn't come off the way he wants it. And just like that, that's half time. Thanks for tuning in to the first half of what has been an exciting match between Auckland City and Eastern Suburbs. Heading into the changing rooms now, we'll see you in about 15 or so. That's Eastern Suburbs nil and Auckland City one.
Welcome back to Medill's Farm for the match between Eastern Suburbs and Auckland City. We're just about to get underway into the second half. Auckland City currently have the lead of 1-0 over Eastern Suburbs. It's been an intense match so far. Auckland City uh, dominating most of the position, but Eastern Suburbs have got to be congratulated on their defensive game, keeping them out uh, and holding up Auckland City to just 1-0. A substitution's been made, and I'm just working out who for. We know that Hamidi's come off. And it looks like Adam Thurston. I'm angry at him. I'm angry at him for leaving. Makes his debut there for Auckland City in the number eight shirt. I know he's got a lot of mates on this Eastern Suburbs side, so hopefully it's a good battle today. And we're underway. Can Eastern Suburbs pull it back? Get an equaliser, if not uh, a winner. And already Auckland City with some pacey forwards. Pushing the back there from Michelle. And Auckland City calling on their, their medical staff. For a possible head injury there on Caltech. Hopefully not too serious. And in, in football now it's a um, uh, general rule that play must be immediately put on hold for any signs of uh, head injuries. Just the season, two players in my own team at Eastern Suburbs have had head injuries that have put them out for the season. It's pretty dangerous. If you've just joined us, welcome to ESAFC TV here on YouTube. I highly encourage you to hit the subscribe button down below. There's no uh, strings attached. Just hit the button and, and you'll um, be kept up to date with everything you need to know. All things eastern suburbs. We've got a great down, uh, great, great crowd down here at Medill's Farm, and uh, I believe we've also got a good crowd online. So thanks for joining us, joining me today on the commentary, on the live stream, and play is resumed, and it looks like Caltech is uh, good to go. Ariane goes on for Michelle. down here at Riddell's Farm but not too much. It is one of the calmer days which I'm stoked about. Come on, 
and Michelle's taken down. A little bit of a scrappy start to the second half. Both teams just trying to find their feet and get back into the rhythm. I think Eastern Suburbs looks like they're pressing up a bit more and stepping up, which is great. They'll be wanting to play more in their attacking half. Across in there and Thurston's on the end of it. But it goes too far wide. Auckland City's tactics, the complete opposite to Eastern Suburbs, pressing up really high on right on the edge of the box there. Parker with a nice ball out, manages to find the head of Hoyle. Good pressure there from Michelle, and he wins it. Strong, Strong's off now, he's off. Come on, Campbell. Oh, and a nice cross in there. Probably one of the best chances from Eastern Suburbs this match. Auckland City asking for a, for a uh, foul there on Rogers. Nothing's called. Eastern Suburbs still with possession and they go back to reset. Seems like Eastern Suburbs have really uh, had some regrouping and they've started pretty strong this half which is something to be excited about especially when the score's only 1-0 so far nice play there from Eastern Suburbs moving that ball around nicely when they can do it up the pitch it looks exceptional nice play there Oh, and just a missed pass there from Hoyle. Dowling does well to intercept that. Good pace on the lad. and comes away with it. A nice ball in there. Michelle tries to run away with that one but it's taken by Thurston. He'll love me saying it but doesn't Thurston just look so much better in white? In a white kit? I think so. Chance here for Eastern Suburbs. Eastern Suburbs working really hard. It's admirable. just a little bit shorter than his opposition there and Andrew Blake
Wood now with a great run and a nice cross. Nice ball out there from Strong into Hoyle. Foul there on Michael Bilt. Debatable, I reckon, ref. But I'll take it. City with the press. Thurston puts Parker under pressure at the back here, earning him his side a throw in. Blake tries to find one of his teammates in the middle there, but Strong intercepts it quite nicely. Eastern Suburbs will look to move forward now. Van der Heide knocks a ball for Hoyle, but there's too much on it. Some points from this match is important for both sides today. Eastern Suburbs currently sitting in sixth place, knowing that they need to make that top four um, to qualify for the National League, which I've been in for years, but now due to the due to the change in format, it'd be a shame not to see the Eastern Suburbs side feature in this year's National League. Auckland City, first time playing in the Domestic League. They're sitting at the top of the table, but only by one point. So they'll be wanting to se secure some points today to um, just solidify that position at the top of the top of the table. Chance here for Eastern Suburbs, perhaps. Close old fights built. Built with a nice ball in, but there's no one there. Suburbs putting Auckland City on a little bit under a little bit of pressure at the back there, but they get out. wins the ball. A nice ball there from Van der Heiden into Hoyle. Can Hoyle make something of this? He's going to need numbers up to support him. Hoyle can't keep the ball under control up there. Eastern Suburbs trying to squeeze in Auckland City and they do in, in the capacity of a throw in. He 
Eastern Suburbs go back and Auckland City wanting to step up, relieve themselves from pressure. Sean goes out to Dowling. Dowling tries to send it in, send it in but it's blocked off by Rogers for a throw in. Declan Edge, their assistant coach for Eastern Suburbs, telling his players they're in no rush to score this goal. And they want to do everything they can to take their time with it. Nice header there over the top of Michelle. Van der Heiden tries to find Klissold up the top there on the left hand side but there's too much on it. Well, you're here on this live stream. Hit that subscribe button down below. We've got a lot of good, uh, a lot of good content, a lot of good videos coming up um, in the next few weeks, and we've also got our women's team playing at home tomorrow, so that'll be live streamed uh, on this channel. So hit that subscribe button so you, uh, you know when 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 it's all happening. Oh, and a foul there from Dowling. Earns Auckland City a free kick and the medical team is called on. I can't quite see who that is down. Trying to figure out who that is on the ground. Looks like they're in a bit of pain. Perhaps with a hip injury there. Eastern Suburbs will need to set up for this free kick to ensure that we don't go down by any more than one. Oh, Captain Cam Howison was down there. Got a bit of a limp on him. Looks like perhaps he'll just run it off. But Auckland City do have their bench warming up. Ball in from Tade into Parker and he gets rid of it let's go Eastern Suburbs let's go Hoyle knocks it long for Dowling oh and not a bad ball there Stephen Hoyle not a bad ball both teams are really um, picking up this intensity momentum
Aiden tries to run with it. Nice through ball there from Tade. And Auckland City with another player down, perhaps wasting time. I'm not sure. It's a bit early to be uh, slowing down the clock, isn't it? And yes, it looks like Cam Howison is back on the pitch. Didn't catch too much of an injury with that one just before. You can hear Stephen Hoyle, one of the senior players, keeping his team pumped and hyped, letting them know that they're definitely still in this game. And some other results. West Coast Rangers are currently 2-1 up over Hamilton. That's an interesting result. Uh, West Coast Rangers currently sitting at the bottom of the table. And Hamilton just behind us. So good on West, uh, West Coast Rangers there. Other scores see Auckland United 1-0 up over Melville. Massive crowds down here at Medill's Farm. Great place to spend your Saturday or your Sunday afternoon. If you're not doing much tomorrow, come down, support our women's team, or you can tune in tomorrow on the live stream. <coughs> Players back underway. Eastern Suburb is one of the um, fitter sides in this competition. Thanks to Coach Sons, who keeps them always up to a pretty high standard in terms of fitness and physical ability. So we'll see them play right out. Long shot there from Tade, because why not? Parker caught out of his box, but it goes too far left. Milton Michelle really working hard up there to put Auckland City under pressure. Clissold there on Arwood, but Arwood breaks away. He's bloody pacey. Thurston on the ball now with a good run into the box and a cross. Raj has been great in there today for Eastern Suburbs. Responsible for a lot of those clearances and uh, clearances of the crosses that... Auckland City have been firing in. And it goes out for a goal kick.
Michelle knocks the ball out to Hoyle, but Blake's all over it. Auckland City win it back, and this time out to Alfie Rogers. Eastern Suburbs win it back. It's a bit of ping pong going on here. And late there on Clissold. Van der Heiden just before then um, talking to the ref about Auckland City kicking the ball away, really try to slow down that clock but I think it's too early to do that Auckland City still got 20 minutes to go, we're into the 70th minute down here at Matils Farm we've got Eastern Suburbs in the white kit and Auckland City in the blue in Auckland Derby always a good match uh, between these two sides both teams really show up for each other Auckland City completely um, not completely but dominating a lot of the position today but Eastern Suburbs need to be congratulated for their defense uh, and really uh, keeping themselves in this match so well done to them It's been a great day for football, but it is getting quite dark. Goodness me, it's almost time to turn the floodlights on. Here's a chance now for Auckland City and a great shot there from Tade. Had everyone confused, looked like it was going out. But instead... Perfectly placed into the top right corner. Parker will be gutted with that. And so will all, all of the team. Who completely misread that shot from Tade in the box. That takes Auckland City to two. And Eastern Suburbs really chasing this game now. It's not what we wanted in the last 20 minutes. However, there is still plenty of time. Eastern Suburbs will need to have a change in the way they play and will need to look to bomb on and push forward as much as they can. And Gray there passes it straight into the feet of Thurston and another shot on goal. <laughs> Just like that it's three, Auckland City have uh, taken the opportunity on some some heads that were down. You can hear Stephen Hoyle telling his team to keep their heads up. But you can see the morale and the mood and the team has completely dropped after that second goal and uh, it's earned Auckland City a third. And Auckland City now looking to make a change. As they've really uh, taken this game away from Eastern Suburbs. Also still really slowing it down. Probably not really necessary, to be honest. If you're asking me. But we see Reed Drake coming on, ex Eastern Suburbs player, another one we got to see. Switch over, but you know, gotta do what's best for you. And Aiden Keary comes off for Auckland City. Can Eastern Suburbs keep their spirits high and look to kind of compete in this game? And definitely not concede any more in this last 20, 15.
Shot and see if it's Dowling. But City find the safety and goalkeeper Tracy. to Rogers now. and suburbs bomb on now. Trying to make something of it, but Auckland City just too solid at the back there. Fifteen minutes to go in what has been an exciting match down here at Medill's Farm, the, the derby match between Auckland City and Eastern Suburbs. Auckland City just too strong today and uh, taking the most of the opportunities. Not necessarily all their opportunities. Eastern Suburbs have been solid at the back uh, and kept, kept them out, held them out of this game for some time. And a substitution here for Eastern Suburbs. Young boy Brooklyn Baker in the number five shirt coming on for Jake Moose Belly, who has had a good game in the midfield. Probably a tiring game in the midfield. Um, a lot of defending, but he's done a good job for his side. A bit of a tactical change as well. We see Hoyle drop into number eight. Another position, just tick it off this season. Van der Heiden into six, and Brooklyn Baker comes out on to the left-hand side. Alwood with a good run there. and suburbs wanting to just get this game moving and try and get just something out of this match whether that's conceding no more or perhaps scoring a goal or two some good pressure there by Kilcolly at the back and another substitution for Auckland City bringing on the third player off the bench, Adam Mitchell, comes on for Brian Keltak, who's having a great match at the back there. Another sub there for Eastern Suburbs. Dowling comes off and is replaced by Noah Tomlinson, one of the younger players in the Eastern Suburbs squad. Great to see him get a run out here today.
in his first play of the game is a foul on Muhammad Awad. And Auckland City take it early out to Blake. Long ball there from Mitchell out to Blake. And Blake with a nice touch and a cross. And to Kilcully, who gets a hit on it, but it goes over the crossbar. Ten minutes to go down here at Medill's Farm. See Michael built on the ground in the middle of the park there. Stretching his hammies and calves. I think he's asking his coach to sub him off. Probably just cramping up the old boy. Pushing really high there, Auckland City. Putting Eastern Suburbs under as much pressure as possible. Good hitter there from Tomlinson. Hoyle now with a bit of a volley. Baker tries to get on the end of it. He's pacey up the top there. And Auckland City come away with it again. Halverson knocks the ball right across the pitch into the chest of Blake. It's intercepted by Baker. And a foul there by Michelle on Halverson. I think Auckland City will just wear down this clock. And Michelle there looks like he's getting booked for that. And a sub belt comes off. Looks like he's carrying a bit of an injury. And replacing him, Jay Shipman. And an offside call there. Hats off to the Auckland City side who have had a great match today. Really showcasing, uh, you know, their abilities in this domestic league rather than the National League. Oh, and 
there's the fourth goal. Some unfortunate bounces. And just a real lack of uh, players there to defend. And Angus Kilcully has been all over it. He's been putting Eastern Suburbs under a lot of pressure up the top there. Taking his side just now to four goals to nil. Eastern Suburbs will be absolutely gutted with that. Uh, keeping Auckland City out for so long this match. Only one nil at the half. Going down by four would suck. Suburbs playing up in their attacking third in these last few minutes of the match. Auckland City finds safety and goalkeeper Tracy. And Eastern Suburbs put under pressure at the back there. Some juggling of the ball with his hands on his feet. shot there from Tade. Just too good. Shot from the top of the box into that left hand corner, top corner. Got to be happy with that. And Eastern Suburbs 5-0 now. Not the result they were wanting coming into this match today. I mean, I don't think anyone would be wanting this result. <laughs> About five goals. They probably didn't have this in mind. Just a minute to go on the clock and, or 30 seconds to go. And Eastern Suburbs will just really be wanting to see out this match. Here they go again, Auckland City. It's out for a corner.
Auckland City just playing with Eastern Suburbs now. Hear the lino getting some slack there from some Auckland City fans. He's just laughing it off though. Eastern Suburbs really giving it their all in these last few minutes of extra time. Chance here for Eastern Suburbs to, you know, claim something back. Nice ball in there from Hoyle and a header for Brooklyn Baker. But it's not on target. Stop there. Well, Tracy went to retrieve the ball. Eastern Suburbs now, looking to score. And a foul there for Eastern Suburbs, perhaps in the final play of the game. Eastern Suburbs will want to score here to just take away something from this match, even if it's just a goal and goal difference. into the feet of Hoyo and he gets a shot off and it hits the side netting. Almost five minutes into extra time. And just like that, referee Andrew Lambeth calls the final whistle and Eastern Suburbs will be absolutely gutted with that loss today. Um,
Hats off to Auckland City who came out and uh, showed us what they've got. Thanks for tuning in to today's live stream here on ESAFC TV on YouTube. Before you go, hit that subscribe button down below and maybe the notification bell so you don't miss the next live stream match. We'll be back here tomorrow for the Eastern Suburbs Women's Premier side who are taking on Allersley here at 1 o'clock, Medill's Farm. Come down and support or tune in on the live stream. Thanks for tuning in today. That's Eastern Suburbs, Nil, Auckland City, 5.